Hi guys, glad to have your company. Today's company with Farrell Williams, Miley Cyrus in the video on her own, and Doctor Work It Out is the official video that has garnered over 10 million since it released. And that's only been two months ago. But it's a song I want to feature because I had a few requests for it and I had a few people saying, would I? And that's personal friends saying, would you put it on the channel? They loved it and they love Miley Cyrus in this as well. They think she's looking elegant, she's being herself, there's a bit of cheekiness in it, you'll love it. So I said, okay. So first of all, thanks for listening. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And as always, do, if you do subscribe, check out all the underrated artists that are vying for you to come and listen to what they have to offer. A lot of my channel is about promoting underrated artists from throughout the world. And as always, there's translations. If you hit the translation button, find your language and savour what I'm saying, the lyrical breakdown that comes after the video, and a bit of bio about getting to know them as well. So back on to Farrell Williams and Miley Cyrus. Now, since her Oscar win, I have to say she's been a busy lady dropping singles, attending interviews, a bit like Kylie Minogue, and that happens after these events. But in the song, Doctor Does It Work It Out by both Miley and Farrell, to me, looking at the lyrics, they revolve around the metaphor of being a doctor or a nurse or someone in need of care, in attention and regards to a relationship. And I'll break down the lyrics and their meanings straight after. But I found, thank you, Genius Lyrics. As always, I go to them for the lyrics of any song that I'm looking for. I found this, and it says, Doctor was originally unreleased song from Miley's fourth studio album, Bangeras. The first, sorry, the song first appeared online with the title Doctor on December the 26th, 2017, as a leak. The track was then later revamped in 2023 and played as a soundtrack to Farrell Williams' menswear fall winter show during the, pa the Paris Fashion Week on January the 16th, 24. On February the 27th, 24, Cyrus revealed the official single artwork. Let me say it comes from an album and it's by um, Farrell and it's called P Friends Volume 1. And there's only four tracks in it. And this is track one. It also says, Farrell, in relation to this song, we just knew it was early. We just knew we were onto something that felt good to us. But just because the iPad came out and when it came out doesn't mean that it was Steve Jobs and his team's idea only a year before. We don't know if he was having those types of conversations in the 70s or having those kinds of like pontifications in the 80s. You just never know and there's a moment where you feel like you feel the stickiness in something but you may feel that the environment is not ready for it now in relation to the song Miley said this we just believed so much in timing and everything happening when it's supposed to and around the Grammys Grammys Farrell and I were talking about putting the song out and it just felt like it was so perfect and there was so many alignments and so many moments that made me know that now was that perfect time. And then sometimes things in our past makes more sense in our present than ever they did before. And so this song, I think the nature, the celebration, the feeling, especially with the video, and the joy, the dancing, the letting go, it's what the song really always needed. And I don't think she added, I could have delivered that at that time. And I know I couldn't because I didn't or would have. And so this has just worked out. It's completely embodying my spirit and my essence at this exact moment. And this song is really just kind of fun. And it's not too heavy or heady or deep. And that's, a, that's kind of right where I am and my nature at this moment. And so it just feels really reflective of where I'm at. And that's really what my music always does. And in homage to Miley saying that, I will give you a story-like summary of what the song is about in my estimation in regards to the lyrics straight after this. I could be a doctor and I could be a nurse. I think I see the problem. It's only gonna get worse. I need that medication. Just show me where it hurts. I need to rock you, baby.
that's absolutely top form you know it's a kind of it's a sunny spring day here in Dublin and that fitted in really really well and it's my first time seeing it in its entirety congratulations and it really does have the feel-good factor so you can imagine Miley is just Cyrusing it out at the moment after her Oscar win uh, with flowers. Congratulations! I have a reaction on my channel, of course, to that, and another reaction. I can't think of the name, and I also have your sister um, on my channel. I just think very talented, very versatile, and I loved it. Congratulations! Now the chorus of that song to me suggests that uh, Miley can be the doctor or the nurse to the person they love acknowledging a problem they're offering to help before it worsens and when the lyrics say a midnight medication just show me where it hurts to me that's implying that sense of urgency and a desire to alleviate the pain or issues in the relationship i have to say doctor or a nurse what would i have been in all my relationships i ended up being the patient to be honest and I think a lot of people end up being a patient, not a doctor, not a nurse, but needing a doctor or a nurse after relationship problems. And always when they're good, they're good. But by God, when they were bad, they were bad. And that to me is just what the lyrics are screaming out. That, that juxtaposition a lot of us find ourselves in, the road that leads to not nowhere, but another road that leads to another road. And we're just exhaust, exhausted walking the same path in life. So in the bridge, when the lyrics say, are you on the fence? Yep, been on the fence of many a relationship, deciphering, should I, shouldn't I leave it? Yes or no. But the one fear that I've had, and I've realized millions of people around the world have, is if you do leave a relationship, you're suddenly back on your own and that can be a travesty for example a simple thing like sharing an apartment and sharing the rent and if a relationship dissolves and you're sitting on the fence about what to do and you were sitting on the fence about trying to save the relationship it can cause nothing but mental havoc afterwards and there thereafter you know we've got the emotional the physical wear down so it you know how do you alleviate the issues in the relationship are you going to play the doctor role the nurse role it's hard in some relationships it's hard but are you on the fence i've been on it many a time 
stop playing on the side is her advice can be interpreted as well for a commitment and honesty which i've just mentioned you just have to be honest with yourself if it's not working everybody you have two feet that's what they're used for go walking forward find that road walk it again until you come to that other road that you either to the left or the right and walk that but get the hell out of it for your mental and your physical state is is what i say to friends and she asked that about the honesty be honest with yourself urging anybody to make a decision and not waste time on it now when it has the repeated phrase let me work it out to me emphasizing Miley's willingness and determination to solve a problem is what she she's about to make the relationship better she will go to the ends of the earth and then if it's justified to say what oh, to hell I tried to mend this put a band-aid on it and you're not willing good luck but the overreacting themes of the song revolve around that love that care dedication in a relationship and the metaphor of being a doctor and a nurse what's that, that about to me it signifies a desire to heal and understand and nurture the other person's emotionally the problems emotions in the relationship in your own and try and weave them together it's like sewing a stitch on a wound how can i crisscross this around that i can do the perfect trim and it'll heal well well that's symbolism and metaphor for you but it's also in the lyrics to have symbolism and metaphors throughout such as midnight medication and before your body burst they add a sense of urgency and intensity to the relationship because it's not the body burst it's the mind in most people's cases and portrayed in the song that sense of urgency and intensity comes out now the idea of working out issues and finding solutions let's be fair is a central motive suggesting a willingness in this particular case looking at the lyrics to put in the effort and make things right so what's my summary well overall even though it's a poppy good thumping tune to have on a summer springs day like it is today the song is about for me a plea for communication understanding and commitment all of them all those elements that that make a relationship work it's speaking of the importance of dressing problems before they escalate and it emphasizes that value of mutual support and care you need in a relationship to make it work i feel my summary is it's a message of love responsibility willingness to do what it takes to mend any broken relationship keep keep it healthy and keep walking the path you're walking until you're exasperated and exhausted i would say and mentally you just can't sometimes you have to push yourself that far to realize oops i've made a mistake i should have not walked the walk you should have talked the talk maybe so to keep a relationship and to mend it and to keep it healthy it encourages openness honesty and proactive efforts on your part to work through those challenges and nurture a strong connection so the question beggars begs not beggars begs are you going to be a doctor a nurse or end up being a patient good luck if you're in any situation that you have to decipher which thank you for listening take care